Okay, hi everyone. Uh, welcome back to another Coder's Night. So today we have Shania, who's here to present her app called Music Sheet. So um, this name is very helpful because the app organizes sheet music. And as a musician myself, who always loses my sheet music, her app is certainly very, very helpful. So Shania is definitely experienced when it comes to coding. Uh, she has also created a, um, correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, but a 3D game with a great user interface design last year. So, uh, without further ado, Shania, I think I made you co-host. You can start sharing your screen. Okay, thank you. Uh, so my name is Shania, um, and my app is called Music Sheet. Let me real quick pull up my things that I set up. Um, so I just have a very simple PowerPoint, just my app is called Music Sheet. Um, a little bit about me, I'm currently 15 years old. I'm a junior, or I'm going to be a junior in high school this upcoming fall. I'm a pianist of Tovia. I've been coding for about four years. Um, so right now I can show you guys a bit of the live demo. So I currently have my iPad connected to my QuickTime player. Just double checking, can you guys see it? Yep. Um, so when you open the app, you're going to see the little loading screen. Um, so the main purpose of my app is for you to be, for musicians, uh, amateur, amateurs and professionals, who basically make digital copies of their music and be able to view, store, and use it there. Um, so I'm going to show you a little demo through a test account I have. Uh, so once you sign in, there is a library. Usually this would be full with whatever sheet music you have. Press the little plus button, add the little pictures you can go over here today i have a actual picture of one of my older pieces um so once you pick a picture it'll load up just a quick preview you can click next uh put in a quick file name for the uh for the sheet music uh you can give it a title my bad uh, let's say it's just ballad composer chopin Genre romantic is his favorites. Done. Continue, and you'll see that it'll load up in the library. Um, it'll load up in columns of two. That way, it's very easy to see. You can just click on the actual picture to load it up. This is the uh, bigger display, which you would usually use if you were actually practicing or performing the piece. Um, that way, you can actually see the sheet music and uh, this app is available on iPhone and iPad but it's targeted more towards iPads because uh, they're generally closer to the size of a piece of paper which is where your sheet music usually is. Uh, if you press a little menu tab you can actually edit but right before that we can I'm going to show you another feature which is basically adding multiple pages to the I'm just going to add the same picture and give it a slightly different file name, Balad2. Um, now confirm. And if we do come here, I would just put in the same as before. The title is Balad, composer is Japan, the genre is romantic, and it is a favorite. So if you see here, nothing new was added to the library because it was actually uh, added to the bottom of the same uh, file already. Um, so when you press edit, it'll ask you how many pages you would like to edit. Uh, I can just say page number one. And as you can see here, I can actually start drawing. Uh, since this is targeted towards iPads, uh, most iPads generally uh, people do buy a Apple Pencil to go with your iPad just because it's very helpful. So um, instead of just drawing with your finger, you can actually draw it with your Apple Pencil, which is super helpful. It works normally like any other app would with an Apple Pencil. Uh, for example, you can draw in your pedal here like that. And maybe you can say, OK, well, I want to draw my pedal here like this, but then maybe no pedal here, something like that. And you can direct a certain color for 
a certain type of note you want to make and you would simply just press this little top button right here and it saves it as a layer and you can maybe choose a different color perhaps the screen for something like dynamics you could circle your uh, important dynamics or maybe little things that you tend to miss maybe a certain accent or perhaps you want to actually decrescendo here but uh, you don't you don't have it on the normal sheet music and maybe you just want to say like decrescendo over here obviously this is kind of a bad color to use we can use a darker color that way it's easier to see and maybe crescendo over here and we can save it as another layer and say for example uh, you get really comfortable with the piece and you have some markings that you would you wouldn't really need because those were markings that you made perhaps when you first started learning the piece um, you can actually just delete the layer by tapping on the button and as you can see the green layer that i made is completely gone and once uh say for example this is my finished Edit. I don't want to edit anymore. I can just press save and you'll see that it actually changes the top picture, which was the one that I edited and it comes with the new edits and this works for all the pages, obviously. And um, I also left a little bit of room in the margin in case you need to leave any notes in the margin because as you know, there's not a lot of space in between the lines. Um, generally, if you have to put your pedal there, your dynamics there, you really don't have anything else any other room to put there, uh, to put things there. Next is the metronome. Uh, what I did actually was build a consecutive and automatic metronome, which is really helpful for pieces like the ballad that start in a certain tempo and change midway. So you can see here that it starts as largo, but then uh, by measure eight, it turns to moderato, which is a completely different speed. And uh, normally, when you have a separate metronome on your phone or you have a physical metronome, you have to stop what you're doing, you have to stop playing and manually set it to the new speed just because a metronome doesn't know how to time whether or not uh, if you're ready to move on to the next speed or anything because it only has one set speed. The good thing about my app is that you can actually uh, change it so that it has um, so that it has multiple metronomes. So for example, we say uh, maybe 25 for the Largo and 4-4 four, four, and we can cho choose a subdivision. Uh, we can do um, that and we can say measure just for, um, I guess, demo uh, demonstrating six, I'll only do measure one to measure two because that way it's a lot shorter. And maybe we can set this to much faster, maybe like 75. Uh, we can change this to maybe a three, three, four time with a triplet subdivision, and perhaps we can do measures three, two, four, and we can set a different speed, maybe uh, 100 for even faster, and we can just do uh, uh, eights, and maybe it's not actually four, four, we can say it's, oh my God, it's um, nine, Eight or something. Obviously, this is not uh, applying to the actual ballad because the tempo is not like this. But uh, for a demo's sake, uh, you'll see that it actually does automatically calculate the time and automatically plays after um, the calculated time is over. Uh, maybe measure five to measure six, like that. Obviously, you can do all your large measures, but yeah. Um, I believe that um, the QuickTime player I'm actually using is not sharing the audio, but um, I can probably. I can probably do this. I'm not sure if you guys can actually hear it, but there is an actual beeping sound, and that is supposed to replicate the metronome. And you'll see that after a little bit, it will change to the new, to the new speed, and it is finished. Here we go. So sorry, the actual song part is a little hard to do over Zoom, but you know you can download the app and try it out yourself. Yeah, that's a great way to do it. Uh, let me connect back to my thing. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Uh, 
Um, so that's obviously a great feature and you can just leave it in the back. Uh, you don't actually have to stay on the metronome tab. So you can just leave the metronome on, calculate other things beforehand and say you want to go through the entire piece one time without stopping. It'll be really helpful to do that with the consecutive metronomes because you don't have to stop and manually change it. And the last bit is the little info part. You know, there's a lot of information about pieces that you kind of have to passively remember, but you don't really want to waste your uh, memory on it. So it's a great way to store some um, store some extra information. Uh, this is the information you input earlier, the title, the composer, and the genre. Uh, maybe one day you have to submit something for a competition and you forgot what the name of your composer was or it's really it's really hard to remember how to spell that name like Tchaikovsky it's really hard to spell so maybe you just want to keep it right next to the sheet music so that you know it's really easily to access and all that so that is my app um there's a lot of stuff you can actually do with it in practice obviously um this demo is not really showing all of its true things, but it is a very practical and helpful app in daily practice, just because a lot of the time when you're trying to um, when you're trying to use paper sheet music, you end up with something like this, where you have an entire beat book full of sheet music, and um, it takes up a lot of printing paper, it takes up a lot of ink, a lot of money, and if you buy the actual books, they're like $40 for a concerto book, and it's a crazy amount of money, so it's really nice to have these digital copies. And if you guys were wondering at all, uh, if you want to get a high quality photo like this, you can either just take a photo with your device and change it to a black and white filter, or you can actually go into your notes. Um, notes app for ios and you can scan documents from there and it'll give you a black and white uh, pdf form of your sheet music which is really helpful um so that's basically all for the live demo uh, a little quick bit on the behind the scenes so i used mainly flutter uh, from android studio to build this app um as you can see there's quite a bit of code here oh, um but yeah it's Quite a bit of code, just like all the editing, all the um, actual file things are quite big. But yes, um, here's some of the code. I don't know if you guys are interested in that. Um, and uh, the like I said earlier, the app is published already on the App Store. So if you guys want to go download it, it's free. You guys can go download it. Um, I actually also have set up a website for my app. Um, it's a very kind of early version of the website, but it's quite okay. Um, it just kind of runs you through uh, some of the basic features. Basically, you can use this with any instrument because the purpose of the app is to kind of store and use and view sheet music. So it doesn't matter what kind of instrument you have as long as you have sheet music for it. Um, and it can be in any setup. It can be on your piano, on your little violin setup, whatever you want, depends on, I guess, whether or not you're willing to put your iPad or phone there, but you know, that's a whole different story. Here are some app screenshots, as you can see the metronome, the, oh, okay, it's lagging, my bad. So the editing part and the actual display part. And if you do go to my website, you'll actually see that there are two places where you can just get the download. It'll click you, it'll bring you over here. Obviously, if you're on a iOS device, it'll just bring you to the App Store so you can download it. Um, it's not available for uh, MacBooks or for computers. So it would just show you the actual App Store page. But yes, um, I can actually link it. Link. Do that. So I can just link you guys the website because it does more than the actual. Um, mm -hmm. There you go. You guys can open that, and that is the website. And uh, that's basically it for my app. Uh, are there any questions or comments or anything? Well, wow, like I. Your tempo changing feature is definitely so helpful. Oh my god. Like I think as a musician myself, I think that app would probably like help me so much. It it would literally change my life. And um I think 
and to be able to like implement that feature the tempo changing feature um you'd also have to be like very well learned in like music theory so that's like super cool And let's also see, um, you guys can put your um, questions in the chat. Do you plan on adding anything in the future? Uh, yeah, I plan on adding a lot of things actually because this app is kind of still in its early stages. Um, originally what I wanted to do was actually add like stamps or stickers uh, for the editing part, such as uh, if you want to add like a sharp or a flat or something just to remind you and just those little kind of things. I also wanted to add a feature um, where you can actually scan the, um, the, I guess the sheet music straight from the app. Um, but you know, that's thing. so. Uh, how long did it take me to make this? Uh, I would say, uh, I think I started either in last winter or around that time. So I'd say a little bit more than half a year. Did you face any challenges along the way? Like anything that was really hard to a debug or definitely uh the editing part and the metronome part was a complete nightmare to work with um because um you know most of the time when you're actually coding and you don't know what to do you go online and find help but the problem is that uh this kind of stuff isn't really common so it's a lot harder to find help for it and you kind of just have to work through it yourself and Uh, the first part of my app, I would probably just say how easy it is to use and how practical it is because I know there are a lot of music apps or a lot of um, apps that are supposed to be helpful, but when I actually download them and try them, it's really complicated and they have all these little features and I don't know how to use this, I don't know how to use that, maybe I should do this. Um, and it ends up being more of a hassle than the original method I was using, just like pen and paper or something like that. So, yeah. Yeah, and talking about the UI design, um, have you studied UI design in the past? Because like the app looks super professional. Uh, thank you, but no, I have not. Yeah, so I mean, if you guys don't have questions, you could be spending time downloading the app. It doesn't take very long to download. Uh, if you guys want to know anything else, I guess, uh, I used the Fire, fire Store database, uh, the Cloud Fire Store Firebase um, to actually hold all of the um, information all of the sheet music and all of the files and all of the edits it all goes through there and obviously this is from google so it's trustworthy so your sheet music will not be stolen any other questions or okay if we don't have any questions uh, we can end it here so thank you so much is it shania shania Shania, thank you so much, Shania, and thank you everyone for coming. Terrence, do you want to do the outro? All right, thank you everyone for coming, and great presentation by Shania. And so next week, we have another meeting, the same day and same time. And thank you guys for coming, and good night.